This is the Bay Area's news station. Quad 4 News starts now. New tonight at 5 o'clock, the trial of accused serial murder suspect Joseph Naso started today. He is the man charged with murdering four young women and dumping their bodies on the side of the road. Cameras were allowed in court for the beginning of this trial. As Crown Force Teresa Astacio reports, during opening statements today, some members of the jury wiped away tears. Here in Marin County, during opening statements of accused serial killer Joseph Naso's murder trial, prosecutors presented graphic photos of all four victims. They had been left naked on the side of the road. The photos of their decomposing bodies were so disturbing that some jurors looked away and one fought back tears. This is Joseph Naso, the 79 year old former photographer charged with murdering the women. At times he smiled while prosecutors presented their case to the six women and six men on the jury. He also appeared smug. Naso is representing himself, a public defender you see here sitting next to him is offering him some legal assistance. Besides crime scene photos, prosecutors showed excerpts of what they call Naso's rape diary, where he allegedly chronicled sexually assaulting several women. Cameras were not allowed to show evidence being presented. This is a picture of all four victims presented to the jury. Prosecutors also talked about how DNA evidence found in pantyhose used to strangle victim Roxanne Rogash is a match to Naso, and that the pantyhose contained the DNA of Naso's wife. It was here in Marin County off of Sir Francis Drake that Rogash's body was found in 1977. Prosecutors say that Rogash worked as a prostitute in Oakland near Naso's home at the time. Prosecutors also told the jury how many of these cases went unsolved for years. That is until Naso was arrested in 2010 in connection with violating his probation on a theft charge in Nevada. Coming up on Crawford news at six o'clock. Find out what Naso had to say about the charges against him and what his first words were to the jury who is now contemplating his fate in this death penalty case. In Marin County, Teresa Estacio, Cron 4 News.